What is up guys, Crafter here, and today we're going to be setting up a Minecraft server. It's going to be a vanilla server, and it's going to be for the latest version of Minecraft. Um, so all we have to do is, real quick, just start by creating a new folder on your desktop. Just right-click, new, and then folder. Name that, I'm just going to name it, um... So I just named it Minecraft Server. After you create your Minecraft Server folder, all you have to do is open up this. I'm going to have the website link down in the description. And you're going to click here and download the Minecraft Server 1.16.jar. That's what the version of Minecraft it's on for me right now. But the website will always stay uh, updated, guys. So you'll never have to worry about this tutorial not working. It'll always work. Once I downloaded it, I put it on my desktop. And make sure you rename it to server.jar if it doesn't already have the name server. So I say server.jar. So like if we did rename, you just you just type in server, but make sure it stays a jar file. If it turns to a white piece of paper in the name when you type it in, put dot jar and it will fix it. Okay, so next what you want to do is just drag that in here. Now our server.jar is in here. If you guys can't set up your own server on your PC, either because you don't have enough RAM or your computer's not powerful enough, another option you have is to go with a server host. I personally use Shockbyte, and when you set up your server, it sets up right away. Once you get your server, you go to the server page, and then you scroll down, and you make sure this is set here for server type to Minecraft, whatever the latest is. It's going to keep it updated for you. And then you're going to just hit start on your server, and your IP is right here. That's how you're going to connect, okay? That's when you go to Minecraft, you go to multiplayer add server. That's how you connect to your IP. If you decide to use Shockbyte as a host, um, I personally use them, and you can save 25% by using code DECACRAFTER. For those that are using your own server, you want to go to this website, and you're going to need to port forward. If you don't know how to port forward, there is a tutorial down in the description. Once you do that, you'll just come here. It'll tell you your public IP, which is this here. You'll give that to your friends. You don't connect with your public IP. You can't, so guys, don't try to. It's not going to work. Okay, so that's just for your friends to connect to your server. Now, back to the server. Once this is all in here, we're going to right click, new text document, and title it run. Just run. Right? And then we're going to open it up. I already created, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I already created one here, so I'm just going to copy this over. It's also going to be in the description. This right here is the starting amount of RAM, so it's at set to 2 gigs of RAM. This is the max amount of RAM that it can use. So I set that to four gigs, and that's what I'm gonna set it to in the description as well, but you can change that. This right here is the file that it's looking for, server.jar. Well, if we just save and then close, there's our server.jar. Whoops, so we wanna open that back up, and then hit save as. When you hit save as, you title it run.bat, and then hit save, close it, and then there'll be a new file in here. You're just gonna run that. All right, once you run the server, it's going to say you need to accept a EULA, so you're going to just press any key to close, or any key to continue. That means any key to close. So if it says that, that means once you press something, it's going to close it, okay? That's what that means. So then we're going to open up the EULA. We're going to change false to true. And guys, if you run out of the out of memory error, like if it says the virtual machine cannot, whatever, like it's going to have a big number there, and then it's going to say K or whatever. Uh, link in the description to fix that, okay? And then just do that video and then continue on with the tutorial. So change this to true. And then close that. And then run again. Once your server is finished loading, you'll see this done message here. If it says can't keep up, is the server overloaded, blah, blah, blah. You can ignore that, guys. It's going to happen. Um, it's not really an error. Just don't worry about it. <clears throat> Next, what you want to do, go to multiplayer, add server. And this is how do you this is how you connect to your server on your PC. You have to type in localhost. The reason for this is because it's looking for um, the server on your PC, right? You can't connect to your IP because that's your public IP that other people connect to. So that's for your friends. So you're just gonna hit done, and then we're gonna scroll to the bottom where it saved it. Now, I'm getting a bit of lag because I'm trying to record and um, host the server and play at the same time, and my computer's really not the greatest, but I'm trying to teach you guys what I can with what I can um, and give you the fastest and best tutorials without wasting any of your time. So 
Um, yeah, now we're in our 1.16, but again, this tutorial is endless. It'll work no matter when. And if you want to test to make sure your server is online, come back here to this port checker website, hit check port, and success. Your friends will be able to connect. That's how you know if your port forwarding was successful or not. Remember, give them your IP here, not localhost. To make changes to your server, like to op yourself, um, when the server is, let's run the server real quick. You can make changes in server.property, just edit that. And then here you have all your server settings. Make sure that you don't change the IP in here to anything, leave it blank. So these are all the server settings you can change. You can turn on your whitelist and stuff, and I'll show you in a second how to make yourself admin and how to do the whitelisting. Okay, to make yourself admin and to op yourself, you would just type into the console here, op space, and then your Minecraft name. In my case, it's DeckerCrafter. And now it says made DeckerCrafter a server operator. Now you're admin of your server, and you can type in game slash help, and it'll show you all the different commands you have. You can also type help in here to see all the different commands that you can use on your server. To add someone to your whitelist, just type in whitelist, add, and then the name of the player. Add a deck of to the whitelist. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you made it to the end of the video, stay beautiful and comment stay beautiful for the people that didn't. And don't forget to drop a like. See you guys.